what's up guys it's Andres and today I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit about my uh, jailbroken iPhone oops I had a video up earlier this week about jailbreaking on 4.3.3 so now I want to show you what I've done with it so far so one of the first things I want to show you is um, SPS settings if you want to know more about it in, look in the description there's a full uh, where you can get it from and uh, the name of it and stuff like that so this is what it looks like on the iPhone um, all you really have to do when you download it, it brings an activator on the settings so if I go to settings real quick and you scroll down to uh, you'll see right here it's an activator it'll activate itself so um, when you open your iPhone or something if you slide from left to right on the status bar it'll open or from right to left it'll open up you can always change that if you want something else if you don't like doing it on the status bar you can always do something else but um, you can just go and change it at the settings but I'm going to show you what it is about pretty much and just it's just toggles so you can change like you can turn on 3G Wi-Fi airplane mode I'm on airplane mode right now just so I don't get any annoying calls and stuff like that while I'm trying to record but turn on Bluetooth uh, brightness so you can adjust it and data processors so I mean down here it shows you available memory at the moment so if you click on uh, process it shows you what's open right now so you can put up uh, free memory and it will just free up your memory if you want to use it for something else so you can see it did go high higher um, you also have a dock so you can have small applications that you just want to kind of hide from the normal uh, springboard but still want to be able to use so I have find my iPhone light voice recorder and this little app which I'll show you in a little bit what it's about so you also have the refresh so you can refresh the stuff down here and you can have respring and then the power one is actually pretty nice so you can reboot power off safe mode and lock or you can just go to more which is the settings for this so you can set toggles right here so it gives you a whole list of things you have downloaded you can download more they're add-ons but this is what I have so far for mine um, you have the activator which I told you about earlier so you can activate it on there um, you have themes you have um, some options, not that one. Options right here. Uh, dock applications, which is the dock that I showed you. You can also hide icons, which you don't use every day. Um, I have a couple in like um, stack, um, not stats, stock and um, game center, I think it is too. Because I don't ever use the applications and just wasting space in my normal springboard. So. I don't really use them. There's also like system options and other stuff like that, which you can use. There's um about and the help up here. So that's one of them. You know, I'm I guess I'll just show you the other up on the dock now. So this one is pretty nice, which I'll have to uh, turn off airplane mode real quick. So as you can see, it does work. So here it comes Wi-Fi turning on and. You see the AT&T is a little bit different, which that's because of this. So if you, oops. wow, stop closing. What the fuck? Sorry about that. I'm trying to open up this app and someone just texts me right when I turn off airplane mode. Awesome. Not what I wanted, but. So on here, what you want to do is, uh, this just changes your AT&T logo. So you can put whatever you want. Like I can put my name. I actually just put AT&T because I thought I liked it. So I don't know if you can see real quick, but I have it kind of small. I uh, can't really get it to focus. But I just changed from capital letters to small um, to small letters. So it's not small letters. I just can't remember the name right now. But still, anyways. So you can just set anything up there and then you can set it as your carrier or your banner and then you have to uh, respring. So pretty easy app. Close it out real quick. 
another thing I want to show you is um, by SMS this one there is an application that they put on your on your springboard but I don't have it because I hit it but what it pretty much it shows you is I don't know if you saw the person that texted me but there's a little icon up here which you can uh, not that as you can see it says two if you double tap it will show you the text which you can um, open up and uh, I don't know what this is about but you can apply from right here so you don't, you don't even have to open the MSM so I'm just gonna be like uh, one sec it's right there and then you press send and then I'm gonna show you something else like I don't know if you can see but down here there's open call and reply there's also close later templates uh, pop up delete and forward and then if you have Skype you can Skype him or FaceTime so it's pretty nice you can close it up up here well this one actually shows you your whole conversation which is kind of nice too but click that X up there and you close it up then that's another really nice application that's um, what been three so far that's kind of most of it oh and I also have a uh, so you can FaceTime on 3G which I think it's called 3G on register this which is this one right here it does bring up at least this um, team for the SBS settings does bring a toggle for it so it's pretty nice so if I want it on and off I could I can just turn on 3G real quick and I can FaceTime over 3G which is pretty nice just because you know Apple doesn't really allow you to do that but that's pretty much it guys so I mean that's just small things I've done so far. I've, I've only really had it for, well, like, it's been, like, a couple of days, like, almost a week, maybe. So I haven't been able to find, like, all of them. This is just what I've downloaded so far. I've I've messed around a lot with other things, like, themes for just the icons and stuff like that. But I kind of like the stock icons. I mean, I've seen some really good ones, but I just want to stick to the stock because I don't really like when people know that I'm jailbroken go on airplane mode real quick before someone else texts me I like the stock just because if I'm using my phone and someone else just sees it they won't realize that it's still broken but little do they know that it is so that's a pretty nice feature I like um, if you want to download those there's actually a lot more than I've shown you so mess with those uh, most of them are free the um, like for example the 3G is actually not free You'll have to pay for that one. The SPS settings, I am hun I'm pretty sure it's free. I'm I don't think I paid for that one. And um What all the buy SMS? That one's free. That well, it's actually a trial. You can pay to actually not have um ads on the application, but I wouldn't use it as a main SMS application just because I think this messaging works great. Uh, the save or whatever. Anyways, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. If you haven't seen my jailbreak uh video, make sure you to check that out. Um, if you want a jailbreak, that will teach you how on four point three point three, and also works on four point two point eight for Verizon. So that's pretty neat. Um, I'll put a video in a link at the end of this video, so you can go check that out. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.